Salivary stones are similar to kidney stones. They form in the salivary glands. Uh, all of us have four large salivary glands and many, many, many small salivary glands in our mouth. The large salivary glands form produce saliva. Sometimes when the salivary saliva is sluggish for whatever reason, uh, salivary stones start forming and then they can block the, uh, the tubes or the pipes that bring saliva from the glands into the mouth. If the salivary stone blocks the saliva or the tubes, um, pa pa patients can get swelling and um, pain, which causes distress to the patient. And this is what brings pa most patients to the doctors and to see us as oral maxillofacial surgeons. So these are not dangerous as such, but can cause significant symptoms such as pain and swelling whenever you eat or think of food and they need to be relieved so to relieve the obstruction, to relieve the saliva flow back into the mouth. They are not dangerous as such. They don't kill people, but um, you can get infections. And in some immunocompromised patients, these infections can go on to become serious uh, conditions such as sepsis. So it is important to treat um, salivary stones which are causing obstruction. There are several causes for, forming, for formation of uh, salivary stones. One of the main reasons is dehydration and reduce uh, water and fluid intake, which causes the salivary glands to dry up. So whenever the salivary glands are dry, uh, small stones may form, which then block the tubes that come from the salivary glands into the mouth. There can also be narrowing of the salivary tubes itself for whatever reasons, either scarring or narrowing the tubes, which cause obstruction and stones form wherever there is sluggishness of flow of saliva. Bacteria settle into these areas and calcium deposits on the small areas of bacteria causing stones. The salivary stones cause pain and obstruction and can lead to a very painful swelling of the salivary glands. And if they cause blockage, yes, they need to be removed. Um, very small stones may sometimes be, um, may spontaneously come out without need for surgery. And when patients experience uh, swelling of the salivary glands, the first thing to do is keep yourself well hydrated and massage the salivary glands and this can sometimes dislodge very small stones. If the stones are larger, there are other methods of treatment, which could either be surgery or endoscopy. By endoscopy, I mean placing tiny cameras into the salivary tubes and retrieving small stones in the region, the, uh, the size being three to four millimeters. Uh, sm stones more than three to four millimeters would need to be removed surgically. The surgery is done mostly inside the mouth and um, it's done under general anesthetic, but some stones may be removed under local anesthetic if they are easily accessible. Uh, tonsil stones are entirely different. Tonsils um, capture food particles and bacteria and stones develop around them. And sometimes even though they look alarming, tonsil stones are harmless. And usually uh, when they grow large enough can discharge by themselves or may need to be removed surgically. Whereas uh, salivary stones are formed either deep in the salivary glands or in the tubes and needs to be removed by a specialist and only very small stones come out spontaneously. Unfortunately, uh, there are no home remedies to uh, uh, remove stones once they are formed, but one can help oneself by keeping yourself well hydrated by play, taking plenty of fluids, up to two to two and a half liters of fluids a day. Now, if there's, if there's a small enough stone, keeping oneself hydrated 
and massaging the salivary glands may dislodge a small stone and that can be done at home. But if in doubt, do seek help from your doctor who will then refer you to a specialist such as an oral and maxillofacial surgeon.